What's up? Welcome back to the Metalhead Car Show. A little while ago, we did a video on the most and least played songs from every Iron Maiden album. You all seem to like it, so today we're doing the most and least played songs from every Metallica album. 11 albums spanning over 40 years and a whole bunch of lore. This is actually a lot of fun to put together. So before we get into it, the one thing I want to say is there's a bunch of people who are a little confused when I did the Iron Maiden video. What we're going over in this video is the least and most played songs off the album. Some songs haven't been played live. So we're only going to be looking at the songs that were actually played live. Metallic has done an unbelievable job through the career playing almost everything, but not everything. So if the song hasn't been played live, it's not going to be on the list. Hope that clears that up, but let's get right into it. So we're doing this video on October 11th, 2024. So things are likely going to change as time goes on, and this video will become irrelevant very quickly. But starting with Kill 'Em All, as of right now, the most played song from Kill 'Em All is Seek and Destroy. Seek and Destroy has been played 1,610 times. It's one of the most common closing songs Metallica has, and it goes down really, really well live. It's fun, it gets the crowd involved, and Metallica does obviously just love playing it. In last place, though, is Metal Militia. Metal Militia has been played on and off, but for a song that came out in 1983, but it's been likely being played live since 1982. It's only been played 94 times live, with the most recent time being in 2022. Jumping forward to Ride the Lightning. Now right now, the most played song off Ride the Lightning is Creeping Death, which is also my favorite Metallica song. But it's been played 1,637 times, which honestly I was pretty impressed by. I figured it was going to be like For Whom the Bell Tolls or Fade to Black. Super popular songs live, but Creeping Death takes them all. Now the least played song off Ride the Lightning is Escape. Escape is probably one of Metallica's least favorite songs, period, and they've only played it once at the Orion Festival in 2012. Those who remember, remember, but for those who don't, the Orion Festival was Metallica's music festival. It wasn't a metal fest, it was a music fest. They only did it for two years, and the first year they did it in 2012, there was one night where they played Ride the Lightning start to finish, and there was another night where they played the Black Album finish to start. End to start? You know what I mean. And what was funny about this is when they actually announced that they'd be doing Ride the Lightning in its entirety, I can't remember who it was, but one of them said, like, it'll be the debut of Escape. And there was, like, one or two of the band members who just had this realization of, oh, god damn it. <laughs> and even when they played it live, they were so hesitant to actually start the song because they don't like the song at all. But they actually went on stage and they played the song for the first time ever in 2012. And again, they did it once. Jumping forward to Master of Puppets. Master of Puppets being Metallica's 1986 masterpiece, the most played song is obviously Master of Puppets. And this is actually also Metallica's most played song at 1,757 plays, which likely means it was almost never dropped from a set list. But the least played song, I was actually pretty surprised in. I figured it was going to be like Left from Messiah, Damage Inc., Disposable Hero, but the least played song off Master Puppets is actually Orion. Now it feels like Orion's in set lists pretty frequently, so again, I was pretty surprised by this, but what I didn't know was Orion wasn't actually fully played until 2006. They didn't play it with Cliff. They had sort of jams of Orion when Jason Newstead was in the band, but they didn't play the song. And it wasn't until Robert Trujillo was in the band, they did Master Puppets in its entirety in 06, where they actually played the song. And since then, it's been played 101 times. Which again, it feels like it's played a lot more frequently than that, so it's kind of surprising. Jumping forward to 1988, and Justice For All. And Justice For All is a lot of people's favorite Metallica album. And unsurprisingly, the most played song is One at 1,598 times. Which means, much like Master Puppets, it's almost never missed a single show. But the least played song off And Justice For All is To Live Is To Die. To Live Is To Die wasn't actually pulled out until 2011, and it was only played once. It was actually pulled out for the 30th anniversary of Metallica shows they did at the Fillmore in San Francisco. You're gonna hear this come up again, but what they did for the 30th anniversary, they did four shows at the Fillmore in San Francisco in 2011. And with these shows, they played a bunch of covers, they pulled a bunch of songs out that they never play or rarely play. The only song that was played more than once was Seek and Destroy, 
and they had like every surviving Metallica member on stage at one point. They had Rob Halford, they had Ozzy Osbourne, they had Brian Tattler, they had Merciful Fate. Like there were so many cool people on stage with them. And if you wanted to get in, it was $6.66. And if you wanted to buy a ticket for all four shows, it was $19.81. Slightly off topic, but nonetheless, at one of the Phil War shows, they actually opened with To Live Is To Die. And it was, again, the first time it's been played live, and today the only time it's been played live. Jumping forward to one of the most successful metal albums of all time, The Black Album. The Black Album came out in 1991, and unsurprisingly, the most played song is Enter Sandman, with Enter Sandman being played 1,425 times. Surprisingly, it has actually been dropped from some set lists since then, but not many. Now, this is actually the only album where you have a tie on the least played songs, and that's Don't Tread On Me and The Struggle Within, both being played 20 times. Now, funny enough, both songs were actually played under the exact same circumstances, where in 2012, they did a very brief three-show uh, 20th anniversary of the Black Album, where they played the whole album. In 2021, they did a 30th anniversary of the Black Album, where once again, they played the whole album, but played it about 17 times making Don't Tread On Me and The Struggle Within the least played songs off the Black Album. Jumping to Load, the most played song off Load is King Nothing at 380 times. The least played was actually Mama Said. Now Mama Said is a pretty unique song, Metallica's discography, all things said and done, because it's the only song that, well, it's a country song. Now maybe a little bit obvious, but I'm not into country. But the fact that they went so far out of their genre and did that, it's kind of neat, I guess. And they played it once in 1996 on one of the BBC shows where James went and did it acoustically completely by himself. I know that song means a lot to James, but you can probably leave it in 1996. Mitch, one and done, keep it special. No need to bring it back. <laughs> Jumping forward to Reload. The most played song off Reload is unsurprisingly Fuel being played 556 times. The least played song was actually kind of interesting and more so the show it was played at was kind of interesting because what Metallica did was two shows back to back uh, for their 40th anniversary. And what they did was they had one show where they played at minimum one song starting from Kill em All going all the way to Hardwired and another night being at minimum one song from every album from Hardwired to Kill em All. Both songs were like 16 sets, there was a really cool variety, and one of the songs, the Reload song, was Fixer. And to date, it's the only time they've played live. I think you can find these shows on Amazon, I've been meaning to go watch them. Uh, it's a super cool idea, I think more bands should do it. But uh, yeah, Fixer, once. Jumping forward to everyone's favorite album, Saint Anger. Now the most played song off St. Anger is Frantic at 197 plays, which actually is a little bit higher than I was expecting it to be, but they've been pulling it out somewhat re more recently. Updated, better drums, guitar solo, it'd actually be kind of cool to hear now. But the least played song is Sweet Amber. Sweet Amber is played during the St. Anger tour, and it was played once, which means it was pulled out as a brand new song, the band probably wasn't feeling it, and they dropped it since then. Jumping forward to Death Magnetic. Personally, I love this album. I got to see Metallica on the uh, World Magnetic Tour back in 2009, I think, and I was kind of surprised to see the most played song off this. What I expected was All Nightmare Long, but it's actually The Day That Never Comes. They've been pretty into that song recently, so it's not that surprising. But what is surprising is it has 201 plays. The World Magnetic Tour was a pretty long tour, and it's got its play since then. So I expected that number to be a little bit higher. But the least played song off Death Magnetic is Suicide Redemption. It was played once on the World Magnetic Tour, and it was played once in one of the Fillmore shows in 2011, actually being used as an opener to the show. Jumping forward to 2017 with Hardwired to Self-Destruct. Again, I really like this album, and apparently it's a weird opinion to say that this is a really good Metallica album. I'm not sure why, and frankly, I don't care to find out. The most played song off this album, though, is Moth Into Flame at 210 plays. The least played, and this is an album where Metallica actually did a really good job of playing almost everything from. I think there's only like two songs they didn't play live. But the least played song off this album is Man Unkind being played twice. It was pulled out twice in the Hardwired tour, and it hasn't been played since then. The last album, the most recent album, 72 seasons. These numbers are going to seem pretty low, but keep in mind what they're currently doing on this tour is two nights in each city with completely different set lists. 
which means if they were doing a standard tour, the numbers would probably be doubled, but they're not. So they're half of probably what they should be. Nonetheless, the most played song off 72 Seasons is Lux Turna at 36 plays. And the least played is Sleepwalk My Life Away at five plays and hasn't been played since 2023. But anyway, that is the most and least played songs off every Metallica album. But I want to know, what do you think? Do you like this video format? Because if you do, I'll do more bands on it. And is there any songs on this that actually surprise you towards how much or little they're played? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, enjoy what you've seen. I tend to post a couple times a week and I'll see you later.